In this video, we're going to finish the Solving Rational Equations free worksheet on the CUDA software website. I'll leave a link in the description below so you know how to access Solving Rational Equations easy. So feel free to subscribe to my channel and like this video before we get started. In number 16, we're going to start by multiplying by a 1. The 1 that we're going to multiply by is n minus 2 over n minus 2. So think about this. What two numbers add to give us negative 6, but multiply to give us a positive 8? That's going to be negative 4 and negative 2. So n minus 4 times n minus 2 is equal to n squared minus 6n plus 8. So we'll have 6 over n squared minus 6n plus 8, and that's going to be equal to 1 minus n minus 2, since 1 times n minus 2 is n minus 2, all over n squared minus 6n plus 8. So we have 6 over n squared minus 6n plus 8, and that's equal to 1 minus n, distributing that negative would be plus 2, so we'll have negative n plus 3. And that's all over n squared minus 6n plus 8. Multiply by n squared minus 6n plus 8 on both sides. And the denominators will both cancel out with the quantity we just multiplied by. So we'll have 6 equal to negative n plus 3. So subtract 3 from both sides to get 6 minus 3 is positive 3, and that's equal to a negative n. So all we have to do is multiply by a negative 1 to get that negative 3 is equal to a positive n in number 16. In number 17, let's start by combining fractions on the right. We'll have 4 over a, and that will be equal to 1 minus a plus 3. So it'll be negative a plus 1 minus 3, which will be a negative 2. So negative a plus negative 2. And that's all over the same denominator, a squared plus 4a. So we'll have 4 over a equal to negative a plus negative 2 all over, and we're going to rewrite this denominator. We can pull out an a to get a times a plus 4. And you can see that if we were to redistribute that a, a times a is a squared, and a times 4 is 4a. So we did the reverse of the distribution to pull out that a, and now we're going to multiply both sides by a times a plus 4. When we do that, the a's will cancel out, so we'll be left with 4 times a plus 4, and on the right, a times a plus 4 will both cancel out, so we'll be left with negative a plus negative 2. I'm going to start by distributing that 4, so I'll get 4a plus 16 is equal to negative a plus a negative 2. We're going to add a to both sides. We get 5a plus 16 equals negative 2, and then I'm going to subtract 16 from both sides to get that 5a equals negative 18. Then my final step is to divide both sides by 5. That will leave me with a equal to negative 18 fifths. And that's the solution for number 17, negative 18 fifths. In number 18, I'm going to go ahead and combine the 3 with the k minus 6, since they have the same denominator. 3 minus k minus 6 is the same as 3 minus k plus 6, so we'll have a negative k plus 9. And that's all over k squared plus 5k plus 6 and that's equal to 1 
over k plus 3. Now again, we're going to think. What two numbers add to give us 5 and multiply to give us 6? Well, they're both going to be positive, since we have a positive 5 and a positive 6. And the factors of 6 are 1 and 6 and 2 and 3. And indeed, 2 and 3 add to give us 5. So we're going to multiply both sides by k plus 2 times k plus 3. When we do that, since k squared plus 5k plus 6 is equivalent to k plus 2 times k plus 3, those will cancel each other out, and the k plus 3 on the right hand side will cancel out. So we'll be left with negative k plus 9 equals 1 times k plus 2, which is k plus 2. Adding k to both sides will give us 9 equal to 2k plus 2, so then I'll subtract 2 to get that 7 equals 2k, and then all we have to do is divide by 2, and we'll get that 7 halves is equal to k. So 7 halves is the solution for number 18. And number 19, we're going to multiply 1 over v plus 3 by a v over v. So we're multiplying by 1. That v times v plus 3 will equal this v squared plus 3v. So we'll have v minus 3 over v squared plus 3v that's going to be equal to 1v, so v minus v minus 5, all over v squared plus 3v. Since the denominators are now the same, we were able to combine those numerators. So we'll have v minus 3 over v squared plus 3v, and that's equal to v minus v, which is 0, minus a negative 5, which would be a positive 5. So 5 all over v squared plus 3v. Now we're going to multiply both sides by that v squared plus 3v to cancel out the denominators on each. That will leave us with v minus 3 equivalent to 5. We'll just add 3 to both sides to get that v is equal to a positive 8. And that's the answer for number 19. And feel free to write out this step. I know I condensed it a little bit by multiplying 1 times v and then v times v plus 3 in my head. But feel free to write this out and then show the subtraction. And lastly, on to number 20. We can start by combining the numerators on the right hand side. We'll have 1 on the left hand side and that's equal to 3 plus 3m all over m plus since those denominators were the same. Multiply both sides by m plus 3 to get that m out of the denominator. When we do that, we'll have m plus 3 equal to 3 plus 3m. I'm going to start by subtracting an m from both sides to get that 3 equals 3 plus 2m. And then I'm going to subtract a 3 from both sides to get that 0 equals 2m. The next step will be to divide by 2, and 0 divided by any number is 0, so m is equal to 0 for number 20. And with that final answer, we wrap up the Solving Rational Equations easy worksheet on the CUDA software website. Go ahead and leave a comment below if you have any questions at all. Also, like I said in the very beginning, don't forget to like this video and subscribe to my channel.